Hi, I'm Ron with Amazing Mile Marker Stops, and we're in Fairview, Maryland on the Chesapeake Bay. A little while back, we were contacted by the Marine Trawler Owners Association, uh, most commonly known as MTOA, and they invited us to come give a presentation at their national rendezvous in Maryland. Um, about what Amazing Mile Marker Stops is, what do we do, how do we benefit uh, MTOA members. And so we're here and we actually also happen to be MTOA members ourselves. So we're here to attend the rendezvous and give a presentation on Amazing Mile Marker Stops. And we're really excited about uh, spreading the message, letting everybody know what it is that we do how our travel guide benefits them as boaters and will make their boating experience more fun. It's one of the things that they set up uh, as part of the MQA rendezvous ahead of time is they assigned a bunch of us to uh, a docking committee and so it's our responsibility to help dock the boats as they come in. So we got plenty of hands to make sure everybody gets docked safely. So I received my orange vest, red vest, so I am officially now on the docking committee. And uh, we've got something like about 30 boats pulling in today, so they're keeping us busy. Another boat is coming in for the rendezvous and they're right back there somewhere <laughs> and um, yeah we're getting a nice crowd it's great it's exciting actually <laughs> all these boats and all these people to talk to and everything borrowing a vehicle to run into town because our water pump burnt out and Ron told me he thought the vehicle we were borrowing was up these stairs and actually the vehicle is down there he's pulling it out now and he's going to come around the hill there and come get me. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice that they are loaning us their vehicle so we can go get a new pump. There's a West Marine and we're gonna hit the grocery store at the same time since we're out of bottled water. I like to have bottled water, uh, you know, for like in the middle of the night or something. So there he comes now. So I was telling our viewers that we highly appreciate that we're borrowing a vehicle. Who are we borrowing this vehicle from? Sue Bartlett. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sue. I definitely appreciate it. Highly. I told everybody about the water pump. I was telling, yeah, I was telling everybody about the water pump and uh, and that we'd like some bottled water as well. 
so he's going to drop me off. Ron's going to drop me off at the grocery store. I'm trying to get my backpack off my back here. Um, he's going to drop me off at the grocery store while he goes to West Marine. And we're on our way. So we got uh, registered and checked in. We are now official, uh, officially here. <laughs> we got our name we, tags. We got our name tags, and uh, we're on our way to uh, lunch provided by the rendezvous. Should be fun. starting to become a recurring theme but I carry two propane tanks on board so if one runs out I've got plenty of time to get it filled because of my second one on board but they last us quite a while but we ran out of one tank and swapped over started looking for somewhere to swap out a tank that was close enough of course because we don't have a car and haven't found one so here we are our second tank is starting to run low and i've yet to be able to fill the first one but luckily uh here at the mtoa rendezvous they've been really really helpful and friendly and there's a guy named john who's gonna take me he's got a car and he's gonna take me to uh swap out the tank So uh, swallows have a very long maritime history. Um, sailors way back in the day would tattoo them in certain places, their chest, their hands, um, for every 5,000 nautical miles safely sailed. Oh. Um, and so if you saw a sailor that had multiples, you knew that you know it was kind of in increments of 5,000. So, um, and swallows also kind of return to the same place to nest every year, every season, whatever. So. Um, the thought was the swallows kind of safely guided the sailors home. Um, also, if they were lost at sea, then the swallow, it was thought, would guide their soul to the next life kind of thing, kind of to see them safely on their way. And so as a new boater, it kind of, um, it's kind of encouraging, I guess, kind of, uh, it just kind of gave me a good feeling to think that there was somebody out there looking out for me, you know, somebody that would guide me home kind of thing it was uh just kind of a fit of sentimentality maybe very, <laughs> I don't know. very nice but very that's nice. that's how i got the name um to kind of look out for me on the waters and help keep me safe we ron is taking all the stuff up to uh, the clubhouse for the presentation it's going to take two large dock carts 
trips. You guys are all up there for the giveaways and all of our equipment for the uh, presentation. Amazing mile marker stops. And we're in Thunderbolt, Georgia, Marathon, Florida, St. Mary's, Georgia, aimed 713 on the Atlantic ICW. Hi, I'm Ron. Amazing mile <laughs> And we're in Fairview, Maryland, at the MTOA Rendezvous. This is Sue Bartlett. She's the one to put all this together. Thank Yay. you, Sue. Great job. Recording. There's a lot of airplane traffic in there. Baltimore. Hi, I'm Ron, and we're on the flight path to the Baltimore airport. <laughs> Visit Amazing Mile Marker Stops.